Welcome everyone, my name is Nima Moshi. I'm your spin instructor today. Today we're having a very easy spin class. Will be a lot of description inside. This spin class is targeting uh, beginners. So if you're a beginner, take full advantage of this class. If you are intermediate and advanced, doesn't mean you can't do this. Participate and have fun. Okay, my name is Nima Mushi. We are going to have a very easy spin class today. So, uh, if it today is your first time spinning, take advantage because I'm going to show you from the beginning how to set up your bike. So, you see where my bike is? This is too low for me. Normally, I need to be over here. Or, when you put your leg up there, make sure this is on 90 degrees angle and it matches the seat level. So everybody's different. That may not work too for you. I will show you another way. So for me, it really worked perfect, especially with this bike. If I'm there, then I'm doing good. No knee pains, nothing. Because if you didn't set your bike right, that's when you end up with knee pains and stuff. And you'll be like, I had knee pains. I'm not going to do this ever again. OK, that's number one. Number two, I'm going to show you a second setting, like your position, where you should be. Uh, when you have your foot down, it should not be extremely regular straight. You see here, I have like a little angle to it. Okay, here. This is acceptable. It's not straight uh, when you're on, you're on a three o'clock, three o'clock. This should be, at least you see, it's not 45 degree angle, it's like 35 or 25 degree angle. So when you are down there, all the way down, the leg should not be all the way straight. If it's straight like this, it's wrong. So it should be bent up you all the way down should be a little bendy here, like maybe 10, 15 degrees angle. So if that happened, then you're doing good. So right now, today we're doing a very, very easy spin class. So, yeah. So follow my directions and you will be okay. You may not like the music, so maybe, I don't know what to say, but hang in there because I don't think you're not going to like it. It's beautiful. So let me turn on my music. And let's move it. OK. I like techno music. So if techno is not your thing, just hang on with me because that's making me moving. So we will be here probably 30, 45 minutes. So at the beginning, in my spinning classes, I like to use level. So it's either level one to 10 or level one to five. 10 or five should be a death sentence. Like, oh my God, I cannot do it. It's so ridiculously hard. And uh, level one should be very easy, which I normally don't use. So I normally use level two to begin with. Level two is supposed to be your, your connection between you, your bike, and your ground. For example, this is level one. If I take my foot off, it just go by itself. The wheel still rotating. So level one is not good. What I want, I want to be in a place where if I take my foot off, the bike will automatic like step like the bike need me to push so now it's all the way on the left for the purpose of this bike i have to turn clockwise seven times so you need to feel connection you need to feel uh sort of resistance you should have connection between you yourself your bike and the ground you feel like you're on the road outside you feel yourself pebbling, you feel yourself doing something, okay? So you hear us? 
That means my bike is still soft. So I eliminate those movements. Now I feel a little resistance, which will be level two out of five, or will be level four out of 10. So if you, it's easy for you to count out of 10, then it should be level four out of 10. Still manageable, it's still okay, and that's where you're gonna be. And uh, we don't do a warm up right now, so make sure on this warm up, you should do at least 60 to 70, 60 to 75, 60 to 75 revolution per minute. So, you should not be on 80, you should be an easy slow, right? You try to increase up your heart rate slow. So we will be here for at least the three minutes. Let me get my, um, so we'll be a lot of talking today because I wanna help those who never done spinning class before to be here to do this. For those who have done this before and they know what they are doing, this is your warm up, and make sure you give me at least 75 revolution per minute. You should be here for three minutes. I can't find my clock, so I will just guess. So, maybe I can use that. I don't know the clock. The stopwatch should be here. Anyway, that's a bad trainer. You should have all your stuff next to you. So, for those who have done this before, make sure, make sure you um, you do your warm up. So when I say um, 65 to 75 revolution per minute, I mean that you should be doing revolution means rotation, 65 to 75 revolution per minute. Is there a spin room for classes or health? Either students hold it, professionals come in and hold it. Another room for like, students, five, students, stretch, whatever you want to do. Yeah. So, revolution for me means revolution means rotations per minute. So, one, two, three, four. You only count one side of your leg. So, for both, it should be if you say 60, it's 120. So, you only count one, two, three. For one side, okay? Huh. So let's work on for a few more.
if we're taking off standing up, we keep the same resistance, we still will cool down because uh, standing up is a resistance, which means we reduce one resistance, we have one, which is um, uh, resistance. So what do you do if it's too difficult to follow you? Take one out and then let's go down. Stay here for two minutes. One minute went by already. Go down, then we go back working. We do jumps after that. So when we do jumps, make sure your hands at all the time, they're on the bar. Do not leave your bar handle at any circumstances. Okay? Oh. When we, before, before we move, before you start doing jumps, give me three times to the right, and then we start doing jumps. Three. One, two, three. Turns to the right.
is what give us the strength it is like a food for energy how can i say your body produces those for you to be able to do what we're doing right now so everybody is different but two minutes that's a recommendation cool down uh, like uh, cool down your woman you can take up to three minutes depends if you're a trainer watching this make sure you look at the class look at the people's face are they in too much pain are they struggling you know is it difficult to put them look at them and then you will know how much time you can give but maximum at least three for those people who are mobility obese or very very old you can give up to four minutes but keep them moving after three minutes if you have a standing up as a second woman second workout don't make them stand up just let them sit but increase a little bit of your resistance or their speed increase their workload increase their power output increase one or the other either resistance or speed okay after three minutes don't make them stand up and if you're a beginner in this class you're watching me right now the same apply to you okay let's go ah time is up so now what we're doing give me only um two turns to the right and then increase your speed up to 80, 80 RPM. What means? How do you count? So you put your foot here, you count. When it's touch, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you feel it. You lower your elbow down a little bit and you count. Once you get 80, then stay there. So how do you know it's 80? When you count up to 30, you get 40, 30 seconds. Or 15 seconds, you get 20. Yeah, yeah. 15 seconds, you get 20 um, RPM. So probably be here. Oh, if you have those um, metronomy, they start to show you how many beats per minute, set them to 80 and then follow. So now, let's go. We take more time. Sometimes you may try to go fast and then you find that the wheel is too easy. Like it's almost rotating for you. So increase more resistance. You don't want that. That can injure your knees, your hip, you know? So just make sure you are the one who is pushing. The wheel is not pulling, pushing for you. It's not rotating to make it easy for you, okay?
on yourself, your bike, and your ground. Reduce uh, speed up to 60, 65 RPM, and let's go. Replenish your body. So you see the benefit of having two bottles of water? I bought this bottle yesterday. But guess what, it's not working. So then you gotta have two bottles of water. Otherwise, I was gonna make a mess here, which I will do later. So we have uh, two minutes here, then we go over again, some other stuff. If you have a heart rate monitor, Make sure you cool down up to like 55% of your maximum heart rate. The maximum heart rate you want in your heart rate monitor should be 80%. So when we have those resistance, those moves, you should be on 80%, not more than that. Maximum 80%. So it could be 70, 75, that's fine. 80, that's excellent. One more minute here. Then we start from the running standing, which you give me three turns to the right. You stand up, you run over there for three minutes. We're almost there. Get ready mentally. Now, one, two, three. Then stand up. Let me fix the music. Give me three minutes.
around and your bike. So disappointing. Just was this thing yesterday. So disappointed. Made in China. Okay, we stay here for two minutes. Then we go back on the run, on the jump. So we do the same thing. We jump up and down on a count of eight. Let me show you very quick because we have a minute. You give me three turns to the right, and you go one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you get up again, okay? We're almost there. Get your cool down. Get ready. Put those bottles down. Sit up still. Get ready. When I say go, give me three times to the right, and then give me those jumps. Almost there. Okay, give me three times to the right, and then stand up. Let me fix this thing. Let's go.
So, our next workout, you will give me two to three turns to the right. Should be a little bit more challenging. That's our last workout, so make it count. So from level one to five, you should be at least level three. If it's one to 10, you should be at least level seven. So it's a challenge, it's a mere moderate hill. And then you give me 80, eight zero revolution per minute. What that means, your pedaling on one side should be 80 times in one minute. A minute to have 60 seconds. So you should put 20 more in those 60 seconds. Okay? Ah. One more minute here, then we take off again.
and then if you have a heart rate monitor, make sure you're a little bit, um, you're on your, a little bit above your normal, that will be okay. If you're an athlete, you do this often, you work out often, it will take a few seconds to cool down. That is very beneficial. Two more minutes here. Two, two, um, two to five, two, four minutes. So if you, you take longer to recover, then just stay there for five minutes. No competition here. Stay for five minutes. Make sure you full recover before you get off your bike. Press your brake, 
Take your feet out first, and then take your feet out, and then get off the bike, step on the ground, and then straddle up. Don't ever try to slide from the side to outside your bike, okay? So when you're stretching, come next to your bike. First, we need to stretch the upper body, even though you feel like you didn't work, but those shoulders work. So first, rotate those shoulders. Rotate the shoulders backward. Rotate them. Take those shoulders. Sometimes you put your hands here, if it's gonna help you to feel that rotation movement. Rotate them. And then, turn them around. Rotate on the other side. Move to the other side. Front. Rotate them. And then, I'll stretch that shoulder. Should be here, stretch it. Sometimes hold the stretch. It's, it's advisable up to 15 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds. And then stretch on the other side, the triceps. Feel that stretch. And then stretch your biceps. Come on the other side. Stretch your shoulder. Stretch your triceps. Stretch your biceps. Stretch is as important as your workout because you don't want your stuff to be all clogged up in there. So you want your muscle to stretch and that's going to prevent you from injury and it's going to make it easy for the next workout. So now we go to stretch those legs. Now first open up your chest. Put your hand up here and then pull down. And then if you're flexible or even if you're not, bend down and then move your hands forward. It should be your final um, place to be. Come back up. Then move on to the other side. Stretch those shoulders through. Pull, push your shoulder against one another. Feel that stretch. Come over here, put your foot on the back, and then lean towards it. So you're flexing your toes. Some people like to put on top of the chair or on top of the handle, but it's not necessary. You're gonna get injured for nothing. I mean, all you need is to feel the stretch. Even if you do on the ground, you will still feel the stretch. The thing that gives you a stretch is how far you can lean towards your knee. That's where the stretch is. It's not how high your foot goes. So lean towards your knee. Feel that stretch. Flex your toes. Come up for a minute. And then lean even farther. Closer to your knee as you can possibly be. Feel that stretch all the way the back of your foot. Feel it. One, two, three, four. Okay. Come to the other leg. No, same leg. Cross it. Cross it. Flex your toes and sit. Feel your glute muscles are stretching. Feel it. And then come to the other uh, same side, hold your foot, and then stretch your quadriceps muscles. Feel that stretch. Relax your leg and let it work. Let the stretch work. Uh, don't make it tight. Just relax it and feel the stretch. Come to the other side. Put your foot to the top of the bike again. And then Flex your toes and then lean towards your knees. Make sure your toes are really flexed. Come back up. And then we do it again. Lean, lean even 
even far the closer to your knees you can possibly do, lean. Point your toes. Feel the stretch the back of your leg. Lift up your head. Keep breathing. In with your nose. Out with your mouth. Make it up. Cross that leg. And sit. Flex your toes. Feel the stretch in your glute muscles. Come back and forward, same place. Relax your legs. Breathe in with your nose, out with your mouth. Pull your leg back. Now come in front of your bike. Put your foot over there. And then stretch your calf. Then come to the other side. Stretch those calves. Stretch, stretch, stretch is very, very important. This is the part that people, most people ignore, but believe me, you make it very easy for your next workout. Stretch again, and your life up there. Switch, and do it one more time. Okay. Thank you for participation. And now, you can change and put warm clothes that are dry and warm if you're going outside. And if you're not going outside, just take this wet clothes up right away and try to dress something warm or take shower first and then dress something warm. Thank you for participation.